And welcome back to Idaho Today. It's another week, which means it's another issue of Boise Weekly. So we're joined by our good friend, Gene Huff of the Boise Weekly to tell us all that's happening in this week's edition, as well as what's happening around the Treasure Valley. Uh, you know, Gene, I mentioned earlier that the, the Boise Weekly is a quintessential guide to fun around town, which includes summer movies at the Egyptian Theater, which is, I think, a tradition for some of us, right? Well, this year they're going to have summer movies that are um, classics. Ooh. And so, um, and they're going to have discounted rates. So you'll be able to go to the movies for $5. Um, and if you go to, they're also going to have kids' movies. So if you go to the kids' movies, they're only $2. Oh, really? And so, yeah. And some of them are really intriguing. They're going to have uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. So that's really cool to see on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's what I've wanted to see on the big screen for a very long time. I'm actually jealous because my dad talks about it quite often. I've seen the movie a lot, but I've never seen it on the big screen like that. So what a great opportunity. And like you mentioned, discounted. Uh, what, right. what, what kind of kiddo movies do they have? Do you know? They have the SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. Um, they have Paw Patrol, they have Sonic the Hedgehog, and the Lego Movie, <gasps> just, just to mention a few. Okay, so you know, the Lego Movie is actually a kid's movie, but it's one of my absolute favorites, though, as an adult, I have to say. Oh, Gene, do we still have you? Oh, there you go. You froze for a moment, but you're back with oh. us. It's great to see you. The, the joy of technology. All right. So we talked about the Lego movie. So we got stuff going on at the Egyptian theater. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on at the Idaho State Museum because there's a new yeah. art exhibit, right? Yes. It's uh, an art deco exhibit. And Ooh. so you might know that we have some great examples of art deco um, in our architecture. For example, the Egyptian mm -hmm. is a great example of art deco. Um, architecture. And so uh, the exhibit at the Idaho State Museum features some other things that you might not be so sure about or might not know about. Um, there are some dresses that are really cool. Um, and also, did you know that the Electrolux vacuum cleaner was created on the lines of Art Deco? No, I had no idea. I didn't know it was actually a stylish piece, but my goodness. No, <laughs> no that, that's super cool. What I love about exhibits like that, like you'd mentioned, is not only can you go and learn something new, but then you take that knowledge and then you're able to apply it to you know, the space around you. So I imagine when you're done going to that exhibit at the Idaho State Museum, that once you go downtown, then you can start looking around and going, oh, now I see. And you see how exactly. it's been applied to our community. Yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. All right, well, speaking of our community, a huge staple is obviously Tree Fort, but now there's a little encore coming. Tell us about that. Right, they're calling it a mini Tree Fort. And just kind of like last fall when we had we kind of had a catch-up tree fort, as you might recall, um, before the actual uh, reinvigorated tree fort in the in the spring. So this year, they they're going to have a mini tree fort. It's going to be the main stage is going to be at the VAC in Garden City, the Visual Arts Collective. They're going to have about 10 different venues in the area, about 50 different bands, and it's going to be. Um, really cool you know it's going to be like a mini tree fort to keep us going that's fantastic i love that that's super exciting to hear all right so this yeah. is just a couple of examples of all the great things that you cover in the boise weekly there's so much to go over i mean we honestly right. could have an entire show gene exactly. just talking about what's in the boise weekly uh, but people need to go grab their copies so they can start making their plans now so where do they find their boise weekly you can get the Boise Weekly at Albertsons, at Jackson's, at your favorite restaurants or coffee shops. It's always at the Flicks. Wonderful. Jean, thank you so much. Always good to see you and looking forward to chatting with you soon again. 